Franklin Frank Magtunaudri Lone, born November 28, 1945, is a Filipino politician who served as President of the Senate of the Philippines in 2000, from 2001 to 2006, and again from 2013 to 2016. Dri Lone is currently the minority floor leader of the Senate of the Philippines and serving his fourth term in the Senate. He is also the chairman of the Liberal Party. As of the current Congress, he is the only senator who has served all four major leadership positions in the Senate. Early life Dri Lone was born on November 28, 1945 in Iloilo City, Iloilo and is the eldest son of Cesar Dri Lone Sr. and Primitiva Magtunao. He took his elementary education at the Balwarte Elementary School in Molo, Iloilo, Iloilo and graduated in 1957. He finished his secondary education at the UP Iloilo College, now University of the Philippines High School in Iloilo, in 1961. In college he went to the University of the Philippines Diliman, UP, where he received his Bachelor of Arts degree in 1965. At UP, he was the associate editor of the student newspaper Philippine Collegian and served as counselor of the UP Student Council. Among his classmates were future politicians Miriam Defensor Santiago and Rinaldo Zamora. In 1969, he completed his Bachelor of Laws LLB, at the UP College of Law. In the same year he took the bar examination and finished with the third highest score. In the same year, he served as an associate lawyer of CISIP, Salazar, Luna, Manalo and Feliciano Law Offices now CISIP Salazar Hernandez and Gatmaiden. He moved to Angara, Abello, Concepcion, Regala and Cruz Law Offices, Acralaw, in 1974, where he still serves as senior counsel. Acralaw elevated him to partner in 1975, co-managing partner in 1981 and managing partner in 1986. Dri Lone was also a bar examiner on labor and social legislation in the 1979 and 1984 bars examinations. He also became the vice president and governor of the Employers Confederation of the Philippines ECOP, and the vice president, board member and treasurer of the Personnel Management Association of the Philippines PMAP. Political career Dri Lone served the government and public corporations through the following positions, Department of Justice Secretary, 1990-1991, 1992-1995 Chairman, Board of Pardons and Parole Member, Judicial and Bar Council, JBC, Member, National Unification Commission Chairman, Presidential Committee on Human Rights, PCHR, Executive Secretary, 1991-1992, Chairman, Cabinet Cluster on Political and Security Matters, Cluster E, Member, National Security Council, NSC, Vice Chairman, Committee on Privatization, COP Member, Joint Legislative Executive Foreign Debt Council Department of Labor and Employment Secretary, 1987-1990, Deputy Minister for Industrial Relations, Department of Labor and Employment, 1986-1987, Member, Presidential Agrarian Reform Council, Park Commissioner, Social Security Commission Chairman, National Labor Relations Commission Chairman, Philippine Overseas Employment Administration Chairman, Overseas Workers Welfare Administration Chairman, Employee Compensation Commission Trustee, Home Development Mutual Fund, PAG-IBIG Fund, Board Member, National Housing Authority Chairman, National Manpower and Youth Council Chairman, National Wages Council Chairman, National Maritime Polytechnic Vice Chairman, Public Sector Labor Management Council Chairman, Philippine National Bank, PNB, Director, Philippine Airlines, PAL, Director, Land Bank of the Philippines Board Member, Philippine Crop Insurance Corporation Board Member, Population Commission Cabinet Officer for Regional Development, CORD, of Region 6 Cory Aquino Cabinet as Justice Secretary, Dri Lone was instrumental in the prosecution and conviction of Mayor Antonio Sanchez of Calauan, Laguna, who masterminded the rape slaying of a UP Los Baños co-ed and the murder of his friend, and Claudio Tihenki Jr., who was figured in the gun slaying of Maureen Hult. Both cases ended up in convictions. Senate in 1992, most of the Aquino cabinet were drafted for the Senate candidate lineup of the newly created party, Lacas Dao. Dri Lone opted to help President Aquino finish her term. He was again given the opportunity to run as a senatorial candidate of the Lacas Laban coalition in the 1995 election. He got the fourth highest number of votes in that Senate race. In 1998, he bolted Lakas and joined the Laban ng Makabayang Masong Pilipino and supported Joseph Estrada in the presidency contest. 
He was selected as Senate Majority Floor Leader the same year. In 1999, he was among those who voted in favor of the ratification of the Visiting Forces Agreement. When Marcelo Fernand died of cancer the same year, he made concessions with Blas Opel in sharing the seat of the Senate President. They agreed that Opel will serve as Senate President from 1999-2000 and he would serve from 2000-2001. Opel served his term from July 1999 to July 2000. Drilon was installed as Senate President in July 2000. On October 2000 he issued a statement about the Jutengate scandal of President Joseph Estrada. He was removed the next month through a Senate revamp and Aquilino Pimentel Jr. was installed as Senate President. Drilon would also be succeeded by his son Aquilino Pimentel III as Senate President in 2016. On December 2000, an impeachment case was filed against President Estrada in the Senate. During the January 13, 2001 session of the impeachment proceedings, he was one of those who voted in favor of the opening of a mysterious second bank envelope. Their vote was outnumbered and Drilon was remembered as the senator who cried in front of Senate President Pimentel together with Senator Lauren Lagarda, as impeachment lawyers walked out of the session hall in protest. Joseph Estrada was subsequently ousted that very evening by what would be remembered as the second EDSA People Power Revolution. Drilon allowed Pimentel to occupy the Senate presidency until the end of the regular session in June 2001. When the session resumed in July 2001, Pimentel was replaced by Drilon as Senate President. Pimentel bolted the administration coalition and joined forces with the opposition coalition. In 2003, administration coalition partner Liberal Party, to which President Arroyo S. Father, Diosdado Macapagal, served as chairman in the 1960s, invited Drilon to be its member. Days later, Drilon was elected chairman of the political party. Before the 2004 elections, Drilon invited Senator Rodolfo Biazan to be a party member. Biazan bolted Raul Rocco's Axion Democratico AD, only days after he joined the party. S. Convention to become the Liberal Party's new member. Drilon had close contacts with President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo since 2001 and actively supported her when she ran for a fresh mandate to occupy the office of the president. That relationship ended on July 8, however, when Drilon, together with Biazan and some prominent members of the Liberal Party, decided to withdraw their support for her and asked for her resignation. In Arroyo, S. 2005 State of the Nation Address, Drilon was the only one noticed not applauding throughout the entire program. Drilon has been a vocal critic of the Northrail Project, a Chinese government-backed project to overhaul Manila. S. Decrepit railway system. The railway was to be the first double-track railway in the country, and was expected to eventually extend to Clark and Pampanga and, according to the architects, as far north as San Fernando, La Union. During his second term as Senate President, Drilon spearheaded the Senate's confronting the excesses of the executive branch by authorizing the Senate Standing Committees to conduct inquiries in aid of legislation. He led the chamber in opposing Executive Order No. 264, which prohibited members of the cabinet from attending hearings of Congress, the Senate in particular, without permission from the President. He also opposed Proclamation No. 1017, which imposed a state of national emergency in the country. The Supreme Court sustained the Senate's stand on the two issues. He was hailed by all as the leading defender of the Senate's independence and of its constitutional duties. Drilon likewise led the Senate in opposing moves by the House of Representatives to amend the Constitution that would supposedly shift the legislature to a unicameral legislature, abolishing the Senate. In 2006, Drilon was succeeded as Senate President by Senator Manny Villar in accordance with a term-sharing agreement they forged in early 2004. Drilon ran again for the Senate as independent but was under the People Power Coalition senatorial lineup. The lineup was carefully chosen and the first letter of the candidate's surname except for Roberto Pagdanganan, ended up with the line VOT for DCHAMMP. The line became a hit, and it led to the election of most of the coalition. As senatorial candidates including Drilon. He again served as Senate President from 2001 to 2006. 
and from 2006 to the end of his second term as Senator on 2007, Dree Lone served as the Chairman of the Senate Committee on Finance and worked firmly for the enactment of the new National Budget Law on 2007. Dree Lone was re-elected to the Philippine Senate in 2010 was Senator as 15 years 1995 to 2010. He served as the Assistant Majority Leader and Chairman of the Senate Committee on Finance and led the Senate in enacting the National Budget Laws on Time for 2011, 2012 and 2013. He likewise primarily authored a law that creates an oversight body of all government-owned and controlled corporations GOCCs, which would check them from incurring financial excesses and as well as ensuring their financial stability and makes them fiscally responsible. On 2012, after Senator Ralph Recto stepped down as the chairman of the Senate Committee on Ways and Means, Dree Lone, as its vice chairman took over as its new chairman and worked firmly for the enactment of the sin tax law that would impose higher taxes on the cigarettes and liquors. Dree Lone proudly called it as anti-cancer law, for he firmly believes that the law would discourage the people from taking cigarettes so that they will not suffer lung cancer. During the impeachment trial of then-Chief Justice Renato Corona in early 2012, he acted as one of the senator judges and later voted for his conviction and removal from office and disqualification from holding any elective or appointive government office. Halfway through the presidency of Benigno Aquino III, Dree Lone won the majority of votes after being voted as Senate President, following the resignation of former Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile. It was predicted long after the resignation of Enrile, that Dree Lone would have the majority. Enrile was subsequently elected as minority leader. Personal life Dree Lone was married to fellow lawyer and Accra senior partner Violetta Calvo with whom he had two children, Eliza and Patrick. He also has a grandson named Emilio Borromeo. During his candidacy for a Senate seat in 1995, Dree Lone often traveled to the U.S. to be with his wife who was then being treated for lung cancer. Mrs. Dree Lone died of the disease in September 1995, two months after her husband assumed his Senate seat. Two years after, Dree Lone proposed to close family friend Mila Serrano Genuno, who was a widow. They married with former presidents Aquino and Ramos as wedding sponsors. Dree Lone has a nephew named Rock who is married to ABS CBN broadcast journalist Cecilia Victoria Orenya, also known as CE's Dree Lone. Dree Lone is a member of the Rotary Club, Makati Chapter. He was an active member of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, IBP, where he was a former president of the Pasay Makati Mandaluyong San Juan Chapter. Although he was born in Iloilo, he is a registered voter of Green Hills, San Juan. He received an honorary degree honoris causa from Central Philippine University. References External links Senate of the Philippines Franklin Dree Loan's Assets and Liabilities Frankahan, the Opinionated, Blog of Franklin Dree Loan